Hello! As you might have guessed, I'm not going to make a module today. Um, it's been a interesting week. Uh, it started with that all the schematics to the module I had decided to do uh, vanished from the internet. Uh, there was a service called Tiny Pick or something like that uh, where seemingly all the uh, references to this module was placed so um, it disappeared from all the forums all the places all the blog posts all at once so that was interesting um, I've talked to the guy behind the schematics and he sent me that one that I wanted and a few other ones that also seem very interesting uh, drum wise uh, which I hope we can take a look at next week. Also, because uh, this week also uh, I redid my whole modular and I did these uh, just OSB boards where I put all my power supplies and put them on the board and put them in the uh, rack, made it nice in there and easier for me to take in and out modules. Uh, also, I added a power strip in there uh, and did a few of my own cables. Uh, just bought the IDC connectors and some old IDE cables from computers and did that for some modules which I've given and that I've got that has uh, that power strip module connector. The other ones still have my just three cables. but. Now it is possible to also use the Eurorack. However, the especially the this one, the the quad gate logic module was a power hungry beast. And since I put this in, uh, and I thought it was the diodes, but I'm also guessing it is all the voltage dividers that I have in this one uh, that does affect, that does draw a lot of power um, and so I need to revise this design but uh, since this happened I've had or I, I've got this in my modular I've had a strange sound like the oscillators started to lose uh, tracking and and um, there was it was a crackling noise in in all the sounds and and the mixers was working really strange everything was working really strange and all of you already know what this is because it's in the title but i talked to a bunch of people and i figured this was ripple and this is because the the power supply i made uh, it was done it was the first thing I did. It was a super simple power supply uh, just to make a simple uh, modular system and it has served me very well for those really simple modules that the first seven days did. Uh, I did add a, a few more modules just to spread the load. But now when these monstrosities start to walk into and, and it starts to draw a lot of power the really small capacitors 470 microfarad capacitors doesn't cut it anymore uh, so I need bigger capacitors I don't have bigger capacitors what I do got is I bought 200 of these uh, 470 uh, microfarad capacitors. So what I've done is I've taken two uh, power supplies and then split a protoboard in half and just added another four. In this case I did not add the uh, caps in here but on the two over here I already have the two caps and added another four on each side. So in this case it is around 2000 
microfarads and on the other one it's a bit above 2000 uh, microfarads. And now, so using this one, the ripple disappeared. So I'm going to show you what ripple might sound like. It sounded like this in my uh, system, uh, just so you know that when you got ripple, so when you got ripple, this is a one of the ways that you can solve this problem or buying a better power supply or building a better power supply or just take these here's a bit bigger capacitors so the the capacitors the 470 microfarad capacitors you up those to if you have lying around 2200 or something like that you up the those capacitors to that value and it w would probably work much better now I'm guessing that because I'm using that and so now this the system is starting to draw much more power so then I would also need to uh, do some uh, power heat dissipation on the uh, regulators so there's a few ways you can do that if you just go to the scrapyard or find an old power supply an old monitor like any any equipment that runs on 220 or, or mains voltage 110 in the US uh, like that probably has a, a one or two heat sinks in them so uh, suggestion is to always keep those when you disassemble stuff if you do that so I'm just going to show you what this sounds like when when you got ripple uh, one of the ways and uh, Hopefully I can be back on track, get this back into shape uh, and have a new module for you next week. Um, yeah, so let's look at that. All connected to one uh, power supply. And it sounds like this. So there's, it's a really fast clock which, so we everything is controlled from this uh, oscillator uh, so uh, what I figured is that the uh, quad logic gate is a really power hungry module so this is what happens when we plug this in now listen to the sound if we listen to the I don't know if you can hear but there's a grainy sound to all the sounds and it doesn't keep the track anymore and you can also hear that that the it doesn't keep the beat here because it fluctuates and this is the the big capacitors uh, which aren't that big in my small uh, power supplies I built doesn't keep up with the power that this module mainly but all the other modules as well uh, draw so when I take this out it's good again so this can creep up on you uh, and and then suddenly you just have this really strange I had a mixer that was really acting up really strange behaving really strange that I couldn't really uh, mix the signal and I'm blaming that on this as well so as soon as I'm done here I hope to have a module uh, done for next week instead um, Thanks to my patreon supporters uh, who support me uh, in doing all these videos and I hope you are subscribing and Doing all that things uh, that you should do on YouTube uh, Have any questions or comments do that in the comments uh, and all those of you who said I told you so 
Uh, now is the time to say that in the comments. That, yeah. We all knew this was going to happen with the Ripple, I guess. Um, anyway, see you next week. Take care. Bye.